Hello, yes. Hi, everybody. It is officially Paper Mario Thousand Year Door O'Clock. Thousand... Why is it a thousand year... I mean, I guess we're probably going to find out why it's a thousand year door. Um, so I'm going to start with a little bit of a mini, mini preamble kind of of like who I am, what's going on here, um, how things work around here. So in case this is your first time... Um, you can fit right in and know some of the inside jokes because I think it's much nicer to know the inside jokes and be like, yeah, I'm part of the community instead of sitting here like, I don't know anything or anyone. And then you get shy and anxious and sit down. Um, you don't have to, my friend. You can join in or you can lurk. Lurkers are explicitly welcome here. You can just hang out and know that I appreciate you and I feel your silent, your silent presence. And I am appreciating that. Um, yeah, no, so I am Lauren the Flute. Because my name is Lauren, and I, in fact, do play the flute. I was just practicing because I got a concert coming up this Saturday. Um, and uh, despite being the flute, when I stream video games, I do not stream video games with my flute, usually. Um, but I do, um, I do have a degree in creative writing, a uh, master's of fine arts in creative writing, and a background in fiction writing. Um, and I apply that brain to the stories in video games when I stream them. Um, I don't know that we'll be doing a lot of heavy duty narrative analysis in Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door the way we did in, say, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, but, uh, but I like to talk about stories a lot. Um, I like to predict what's going to happen next. Uh, we refer to it as mini golfing, especially if I'm like, really going out there on a limb and I'm like, okay, folks, buckle up. But I have very little to build this house of cards on, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, that is referred to as mini golfing. It, it, it's a, it's a joke we came up with when I streamed Final Fantasy 10 years ago. Um, when I am predicting stuff, um, you, my, and even when I'm not, um, basically if I'm asking questions, chances are I don't actually want them answered. So to, to prevent you from the temptation of spoiling things, we have a Discord channel on the Flutie Pies Discord. Um, pop into the Discord, ask, um, ask a mod to give you spoiler access, spoiler channel access. And then there is basically a peanut gallery place where you can just sit there with everybody else who knows the game and talk about the thing and shout spoilers to your heart's content because I don't go there. <laughs> So it's completely, uh, uh, completely Lauren free and therefore spoiler friendly. Um, so do that instead of spoiling for me, please. Um, the mods know this game, so they will be deleting spoilers. Um, something might be, you might be like, I don't know if, I don't know if I count that as a spoiler, but if they delete it as a spoiler, it's nothing personal. We don't blame you. We're not mad at you. They're just, they tend to err on the side of caution, which is my preference, um, I, there are exceptions to the, uh, to the, I ask a question and I don't want it to be answered. So I'll ask like basically rhetorical questions, but if I do want the audience to participate and help me out, which can be spoilers for story, like hints for story, hints for gameplay, hints for something. If I'm stuck on something and I actually want you to answer, I will signal by putting on the chat hat, <laughs> the chat hat courtesy of Chrono's sister-in-law. Um, we actually, that's right, folks. If this is the first time you've been to my stream in a while and you remember when we had a non-literal chat hat, well, we've upgraded. <laughs> it's in the real world now. So I'll put on the chat hat. I will explicitly ask what the question is. I will say like yes or no question so that you know you're, that all you can say please or yes or no. Um, I may ask um, for something like an actual hint in the form of a haiku. We call them hint ku that keeps you from just blurting out what to do. You have to think of a spoiler or, or have to think of a hint that's not spoiling. But sometimes people will in the spoiler channel. Apparently they will like uh, talk amongst themselves and figure out what the best way to give the hint is. Um, so it's a it's a it's a fun collaborative experience there. And I ask you to please uh, respect my requests there. I promise you it is a lot more fun for everybody involved if I'm allowed to bumble through things and come up with wrong assumptions about things and guess completely wild and baseless thoughts about what's coming up that sometimes are correct anyway. Um, 
that's a bit more a bit more fun um, than than everyone telling me. Although I know that you're really excited and vibrating with enthusiasm about this game. Um, also, hello, Jay. I know you can't interact, but Chrono has let me know that you are there. So hello. And to everyone else who is like Jay um, and is not interacting either because they can't or they're choosing not to. If you are a lurker, you are valid. We love and appreciate you. Um, let's see. Anything else that I need to say? Um, generally speaking, the rules here are to be kind. Try to be nice. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, if somebody is trolling... Depending on the nature of the troll, I may give them a couple of chances to be decent. Um, but I would ask that nobody troll. I'm not a very fun person to troll. I don't really play along. But um, but yeah, I think that's it. Yes, so we will be playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on Tuesdays, and then we'll be starting Disco Elysium on Thursdays. Um, so my background with Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, this is not technically officially speaking, a blind playthrough where I've never seen the game before. However, if you have been watching my streams in recent years, you know that I've been having some serious memory trouble, um, which I actually spoke to my doctor about today, and we have a plan, which makes me feel good. Um, he listens to me. It's amazing having a medical professional who actually listens to you. Um, so it sucks a lot, frankly, to have memory issues. But the upside is that if something... If I didn't, if something didn't stick with me for various reasons, whether because it's been a really long time or I was not the one playing it, I was watching someone play it or what, um, I can basically have a fresh experience. Um, so I, 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 I realized that this is going to be a relatively fresh experience because I was, I was recounting to folks what I know about Paper Mario games. I've now played through the first Paper Mario and that was just a couple of years ago. So I actually remember that Goombario, my precious son, I will defend him. He is my favorite character of that game. Um, but uh, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, I remember that there is a character in a Paper Mario game named Count Bleck and that I liked him. There was something about him that I liked and was surprised by. Apparently, he's not in this game. My guess, because I know myself and my tendency to love melodrama and tragedies, he probably has melodrama and tragedy in there somewhere. Don't say anything about this. Neither confirm nor deny. But I know he's not in this game. Um, but I remember that. And he says black. I remember he says black. Um, I think there's, I know that there's the purple girl who's in this game. There's, a, I think, an archaeologist Goomba girl that my friend thought was, was attractive, I think. And I remember being in the rafters of a ninja place sneaking around and turning sideways. So, <laughs> if you actually know the Paper Mario games and you hear these re re recollections, then you can be like, okay, I understand why Lauren is playing this game like it's basically fresh. Because I could not remember if that's from one game or two games. I know that there are two prior to Origami King, and I know that I've seen them both. I didn't play them, I watched people play them, but apparently they didn't stick. <laughs> so... It is possible, I will say, as much as I want this to be a fresh playthrough, it is possible something might actually trigger a memory and I might actually get more of my memory of this game back, in which case we'll just have a good time because Mario games are funny and really charming. Um, but I managed to play Final Fantasy VII Remake without remembering Final Fantasy VII, so who knows? Um, otherwise, I think that's it. Does anyone have any questions before we dive in or anything else you want uh, me to to go over. Um, this is a queer friendly space. I am and I'm a queer streamer. Um, so we don't really tolerate uh, hate speech. Uh, we can tolerate genuine questions or misunderstandings depending on what's going on and how, um, how, how real that is um, and, 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 and good intended. Um, and yes, it shouldn't be political to want people not to not die. Yes, my politics will come through when I stream. That's just how it is. I tend to play it real. Um, I tend to be my authentic and genuine self here. Um, for better or for worse, I talk a lot. I will talk about my own experiences. Um, I will talk about my politics, which is probably more likely to come up in Disco Elysium. <laughs> but it could happen in this game. You never know. Um, in terms of hints, in terms of progression and main story content, spoiler free, yes, and also side optional content. If I want a hint 
I will ask for one, as I said, with a, with a chat hat. If there is a thing that I am at risk of missing and you folks collectively really want to make sure that doesn't happen, you can consult with basically Chrono <laughs> and be like, we would, in spoiler chat where I can't see it, have like a conversation and Chrono may be like, Lauren, chat really wants to let you know something. Will you accept our notice? And then I can say yes or no. Um, yes, if you haven't been here since Undertale, boy, are you in for a treat. Chrono has had a character arc. He is he is one of our head mods and a delight. Um, so, so do confer amongst yourselves about that. But yes, Discord is there to help resist the temptation because I know that people don't spoil out of malice. They spoil out of unbridled enthusiasm as they vibrate in their seats. So now you can vibrate in your seats together. Um, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh, thank you. A little bugle before the chat call. I, I don't know. Thank you so much, Axel, for subscribing. Um, yes, and thank you everybody for 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 subscribing. Um, I guess I, I'm gonna I'll do like a little little tiny self promo thing. I am a video game music person, um, so I have music on YouTube. I also lead a video game cover band called The Returners. More from them soon. I'm trying to start a new band up here in Toronto called The Megalovaniacs. Hopefully, more on that soon. Um, I write fan fiction now, which you can find on AO3 if you look up Lauren the Flute. I am Lauren the Flute literally everywhere that it was available, um, working on more stuff to share. Um, and otherwise, uh, yeah, I think that's it. If you like what you see, please stick around. Um, and I'm going to try to be much better, YouTube folks. I'm going to try to be much better to put this up. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it quickly. Um, but if you if you can gently remind me, if, if, if you haven't seen it, be like, Lauren, please. Um, I have a bit of a mental block that I should probably work on um, about posting things up. But yes, we love the YouTube folks. We love the Twitch folks. You're all welcome to hang out with us on Discord or not. And yeah, that's it. Yes, chrono appreciation hours. It's always chrono appreciation hours. It's, in fact, mob, mo, mod appreciation hours. I can't speak. Um, thank you all to our mods. Please listen to them. They are folks who have been pillars of our community for years. They are good and kind and reliable and have backed me up when I need it. So, yes. More hearts. Yeah. Oh, also, just to warn you, I might sing along with the music. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think I know the music to this. Yes, I was part of the giant um, Origami King medley that uh, Laura and Travia organized, uh, which was awesome. I haven't played that game. Maybe we'll get there eventually. All right. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So to warn you all, um, we might be sailing the high seas a little bit here because this is a very difficult game to come by. <laughs> so there may be some weird technical things that we might have to run into, but we will do our best. So I'm using this controller. This is the controller I use. Read the booklet. No, I won't you read the booklet. I've got... Ooh! Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, 
The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Why? Why? Finally, I have a minute without Toad's, Toadsworth. Oh, this is fast. I came all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... That mouse. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock in it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. This person's up to no good. Ooh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, all right. What's the... what's the harm? I'll try to open it. No, Peach, no. Is she opening Pandora's box at the very beginning of this game? That is a very shady character. Okay. All right. Okay, folks. Before we die... Oh, no! No! <clears throat> no. Ahem. Well, I wanted to make stupid predictions about our party on the screen, but then the game rudely moved on. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I know the camp. The no, no. Okay, I'm gonna press start. No! No! <laughs> Technical difficulties. Um. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. We're here. We're here. All is well. All is well. All is well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I have owned this game in the past, but I am divorced. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's the wrong button. Did it? I thought that was what I. The controls are weird. Yes. Okay. We are off to a great start. I was wondering if anyone would catch that whooper. <laughs>
Why have... Have my friends... Someone has to have covered this. Well, I'm going to ask the super high tops. Because the star of the show here is that face. Wedge would have a lot of fun with that. Either that little ticking in the background makes me think of a metronome. Well, it's not playing right now, but. All right. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Anyway, in case you're ever like, how does Lauren take so long to play any of these games? Well, here's one way. <laughs> oh my God, this song is fantastic. Okay, so who's the Poser for Thousand Year Door. Because I know that Shimamura has done some of the Paper Marios, but I don't think she did all of them. She did Mario RPG. Did she did she contribute to the Paper Mario games? Yes, the kids these days would call this a bop. <coughs> okay, she did Mario and Luigi. Okay. She did Mario RPGs. I don't like the Mario RPG soundtrack at all. My joke is that Kulek's theme is my favorite from that soundtrack. Hmm. Oh man, it could happen, Yoma, that's true. Okay, so some names I don't think I know. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> that's nice, Mercurius, John Williams, yes. Okay, Yoshito Hirano, Yukia Tsujiyoko. Man, that's a good song. Yeah, so if you don't know, Super High Tops, basically, like, most of my bandmates are in another band with a friend of ours that is a funk, v funky VGM band, and they should cover this. Oh, man. Okay. They, like, they've done the entire Toe Jam and All soundtrack, <clears throat> so you should look them up. This is really great. Okay, so we're going to have to change the speed of the text, because I am doing my best to read it. Um... Oh, this is made by Intelligent Systems, who also makes Fire Emblem. Is that kind of like Mario Tennis being made by Camelot, the company that also makes Shining Force and Golden Sun? What? Nintendo, why are you partnering with these strategy RPG, tactical RPG developers to make random other things? Oh, okay. Okay, well then we won't speed through it so much. Well, they, they do, but, and like, don't get me wrong, a Sakuraba soundtrack on a Mario thing is, it, I'm not going to complain about it. Um, that's Mario Golf. Mario Tennis. Yes, that's the Camelot one. But it is an interesting trend to be Fire Emblem and Shining Force. I'm sorry, Golden Sun, but Shining Force is first and foremost what comes to mind for me with Camelot. So I have started reading all of the text out loud when there is no voice acting. Um, it has been pointed out it is both an accessibility thing, also it keeps us all in the same amount of time. Um, so we're all reading it together. If that's all right with you, I hope it is. I don't really try to do voices, but yeah. Oh, there's a button to go back if you accidentally mashed ahead. You could do that in the original. Paper Mario, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Wait, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is made by the Danganronpa people? What? I really want to play Explorers of Sky. That's been on my list for a while. All right. Oh, man. 
I like the most recent Splatoon game soundtrack the most because it's the one with the most electric guitar. I only know the Splatoon games because my roommate plays them. All right. Yes, that's what I've heard about Explorers of Sky. That it makes you cry. It has a good, a good um, story, good characters, and a good soundtrack. I can confirm the soundtrack is good because I've listened to it. All right. Okay, so we have sufficiently jammed about creating a save file. <laughs> I think we can maybe move on. I know, right, Janto? We're half an hour into the stream and we're, we have created our save file. Oh, man. Excellent. Hey, Trip, me too. High five. <laughs> Hi, Valendor. Good to see you too. All right. Because if I don't get off this title screen, we are at risk. That's okay, pan gang can count as gay gang if they want to. No erasure here. All right, all right, I should hit the button. It's just, it's a really good song. It's a really good song. I just really like it. Oh, well, hey, congratulations and welcome to the family, Jessen. That's okay, by the way, if you're not, if you're not, in the queer community yourself, but you're queer adjacent, we love you too. Oh my god, this is such a good song. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't sit still, it's so good. I know, Avalon, I can't help it. Hi, Kaizen, welcome. This music is really good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna do it, I swear. I do, Avalon. I actually started to stream a couple minutes late because I was getting prepared. I knew, I knew I was gonna get called on it if I didn't. Okay, multiple people have redeemed hydrate, so I'll do that. Everybody else, you should hydrate too. It's very good for your brain and your body, both of which are important because they are responsible for making you go. And you are important. You heard it here, folks. All right, I got distracted. I'm gonna put my name in. Hi, Anta Prefix, welcome. Well, we have we have not properly started the game, so we're off to a good start. <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> oh, I can see that great soul knight. All right, so I am inclined, they don't have music notes, to put a heart or a star at the end of my name. What do we think, what do we think? What should we do? Should we put one of these on? This is very important. I don't know if wine is hydrating. All right, everybody has said both, so we're gonna go with that. How's that? I know this one! This is the double S from German, right? I don't remember what it's called. What is this like curly QE? Yeah, the music note is my 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 one of choice if we had it. Try star then heart. We can do that. That's an ampersand? Oops, I went I got I got I got Oh no! I got overexcited. Sorry, hold on. I figured out how it works. It's, it is a funky ampersand. So we got this little OE thing and like just like a whole bunch of like accents and umlauts and this I think is supposed to be the... What's that called in French? Oh! Thank you, Anta Prefix. Leg legation. Amazing. 
Okay, well, I'm excited. And I like that we could, we could, we could. How many languages do the front and back of a sentence with a question and exclamation point? Spanish does that, right? There's no entero bang, unfortunately, but we can, we can, we can pretend. I'm sorry. I'm really excited. This music is really good and distracting, and I like that they have these. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it does. Jester. Hi, Jester. I know it's really late for you, but also, hi, I'm really happy to see you. Okay. Well. Star plus heart equals start. Which we'll do now. Are we satisfied with this, folks? Is this good? Will we allow this? By the way, if you're new to our community and you're like, man, it feels like everybody else knows everybody here, we have a pretty small and tight-knit community, but we would love to welcome you in. So if you don't know us yet, the yet is the important part. Perhaps next time we will be excited to see your name again. I think right now only mods can add quotes, but I think that's a good quote. Um, if somebody can add the quote that Kaizen wanted to add, I'm buggying here, sorry. Yeah, I love that people will like watch the YouTube VODs and then feel like they know people. It's just been fun to watch people respond to Kerno's character arc, for example. But it's like, oh, I know these people. I, Jester, do you hear it? Do you hear it? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I can't handle it. All right, we're gonna go. I can't help it. So good. Is that name okay? Yes. I need to remember to use a stick instead of a D-pad. Saving settings. Do not touch the memory card or the power button. So you might notice that my um, user is not Lauren. It's because my, if you'll remember, my laptop crashed and I had to reinstall Windows in a weird sideways way. And my friend said, you can't use the name that you were using before. What were you using before? And I said, Lauren. And she said, okay, well, it needs to be not Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'm funny. <laughs> That's right. I sure did. So now when I log into my computer, it's not Lauren. And so as Lauren, I log into not Lauren. <laughs> because I am a rebel. <sighs> I could have named it Florence the Loot, okay? <laughs> See, Blue Glass and I are on the same page here. <laughs> if you don't know, Florence the Loot is my, um, my, my, my evil, evil version. Um, what's the word we usually say? Evil twin? I have a sister who people think is my twin, so she's the evil twin, but also Florence the Loot. If you ever see me at a convention and it's not me, it's my sister, especially if she's cosplaying. <laughs> <sighs> Mirror Universe counterpart, the one with the goatee, alter ego, all of that. Yes. All right. So we have stars, which checks out for Mario. Ooh, 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 story. So all of this is like vaguely familiar, but I don't remember anything that happens. I'm just like, oh, I think I've seen this place before. <laughs> oh, the opening is identical to Piper Mario 1. Well, that could explain it then. I recognized Rogue, Rogue's Port. Wait, is this, is this just my buddy? Is this my buddy from Paper Mario 1? Is this the same guy? Because I was just a... I assumed that I must actually remember something from this game, but no, in fact, I remember this guy because he's in the game that I actually remember. 
that's how little I remember this game. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wonder if Goombario is gonna have a cameo in this game. I hope so. I love Luigi. don't do voices very well I'm sorry I'm trying to work on getting better at like acting and reading and stuff because I might be doing a bunch of audio projects that are coming up but um I alas because I think that there's a great voice out there for Luigi and I can't do it but I will try to capture the spirit of it and if I can't I'll just read the words <laughs> hey bro check it out a letter from princess peach arrived for you oh my gosh I'll just read it to you how's that sound yeah cuz you don't read out loud cuz you're Mario Mario Ahem. now let's see here it's true this is his brother's girlfriend Peach literally opened Pandora's box because some shady person who, like, is probably, like, uh, I don't know, but they're clearly in disguise as, I get Aladdin vibes of, like, like, the, the dude who sings the opening song that was kind of problematic, but, like, uh, um, the, the, like, I'm I'm going to sell you this thing and it's going to get you into trouble. It's, somebody's pretending to be a sale, selling person, a bizarre person who's not actually, actually a bizarre merchant person. They're actually a bad person in disguise, probably a magical disguise. And they set up there specifically to try to get somebody like Peach to open Pandora's box because they can't do it and nobody in Rogesport can. So I recognized that mouse. There was a mouse with a Zoro mask? Is he in Paper Mario? Or do I actually recognize a character? I don't remember anything about him, but I recognize him. Is he in some other game? <laughs> because I think I recognized him. Okay. Well, maybe I actually remember having seen him in this game because I saw this is the game, I think, that has the archaeologist Goomba. I think I saw her on the title screen. Mouses are in other games. Okay. Uh, that is a good question, whether it's chat hat. But I feel satisfied with this. All right. We should actually play the game. But because it was powering super fast through the, the intro video, I wasn't able to respond to that. So I'm responding it here. <clears throat> All right. So, Luigi is committing the felony of reading his brother's girlfriend's mail. His brother's mail from his brother's girlfriend. Out loud. Although, one could say he's doing this with consent, which would make it no longer illegal, I think. Be Luigi, do crimes. Oh, man. All right. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. Came into possession of... Opened Pandora's box for Peach. Mmm. You're smarter than this, girl. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself... Mario... I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? <clears throat> Is my voice that bad? <laughs> Look, I actually recorded um, a sample. Uh, I did a, I did a, I did a hydration wave. That is a lot of hydration requests that people have been putting in. You can use your channel points to try to make me practice self-care. Um, if my voice is at all rough, it's because I recorded scratch tracks, which wound up not being scratch tracks for chapter one of a new project that Chrono has heard. Ah, I will drink the water. This is some chill music. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum. 
That's what this music is reminiscent of. It's referencing that without being that. But we're also, we've got water. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. Mario Brothers 3 is way too hard. I can't play 2D Marios. I can only play 3D Marios. I need to play Odyssey. Do you know how much I love Galaxy 1 and 2 and I've never played Odyssey, even though I have a Switch? We will do that. So clearly Peach trusts the mail system. Granted, she is the monarch in charge of the mail system, so she ought to be able to have faith in it, but... No, I love Mario Galaxy. I also like Mario 64 a lot, but I love Mario Galaxy. It may certainly has nothing to do with the fact that there's a tall, slightly tragic, beautiful blonde lady in it. That would not have anything to do with why I love Galaxy. <laughs> Look. I have played Final Fantasy IX, yes. I love it very much. In fact, I got this from uh, from Magfest. I have a little Zidane keychain that I picked up. Isn't he adorable? Yeah, Rosalina is absolutely my type. I realized that recently and was like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> I have a couple of types and that's one of them. Does, does, it, does this character make me think of Sully's in any way? <laughs> Amazing zone keeper. <laughs> I appreciate that that summoned you. Rouge port. Well, it could be Rouge port. I bet people did say that sometimes. Yes, the Sully's like genre. That's true. <laughs> huh. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Yes, I do play as her in the new Mario Kart, which actually is really fun. My roommate has it. I've played it. And not just the old levels from the Super Nintendo version, which is the only Mario Kart I know. Because <laughs> I tried playing all, uh, I tried playing Double Dash. No, it didn't go very well. Hello, Sacrificial Toast. Welcome. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba, bum, bum. So they have a little bit in there just to get it in your head, but then they make their own song. All right, do we actually get to see the map? Mario looks at the map. He's nodding along. Oh, we do actually get to see. Wait, wait, the screen flashed. Oh. Is that my boat? Does this imply that I am sailing a boat across the sea now? Oh, that was a glitch. Okay. We'll be getting those periodically. As with this ship, my version of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door is sailing the high seas. It is very difficult to do things otherwise. So, my apologies. Can I, can, no, I can't steer my boat, okay. That's a very Zelda sound. I like that the sun is like a squiggle. Okay, well, we'll do our best. Oh, 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 it's my friends. A rogue's welcome prologue. I read that out of order because I was looking at it. Wait, 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 is that Daisy? Did I see Daisy? Or is that Peach? Okay. Yeah, so we've got Mario, and I guess that's Peach and Bowser. Okay. I just it'd be really interesting if Daisy showed up, that's all. I like the Mario movie from way back when. Okay, look. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. Hi, I'm Daisy is one of the most iconic lines in all of video game history. <laughs> the town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh, was that Mario snoring? Was that Mario 
That was Mario snoring. Oh, that's adorable. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Uh, I'm glad that the rest of the game is not all going to be on boats because I don't actually do very well in this. I have motion sickness. Okay, Mario Sunshine is the one 3D Mario that I don't like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. Ghost Cassette, that movie is good. It is a very good movie. It is... I really liked it when I was a kid. Again, that might have had something to do with the really awesome princess in it being really pretty. But I didn't know that at the time. But it's a great... It's a great... Uh, it's a great movie. It's got such an interesting and bizarre cyberpunk otherworld vibe. Okay. Sorry. We're going to have some glitchy. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. The boat just turned around. He does. Oh. But that was a jump. Jump chain. Oh, he actually took damage for that. Well, it's okay. Look. I'm off to a good start. Hello. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Okay. Accents. Oh my god, so my stepdad is British and he and I have a lot of fun trying to say the word water in each other's accent. <laughs> so I'm all water and he's all water. <laughs> We're very cool. <laughs> my stepdad's great. <clears throat> All right, hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. Look, that is a really twitchy. The hand is like having some trouble here. Hi, Jay. Well, welcome. I see that you're here and you can chat now. Welcome. Saving. Do not touch the memory card in slot A. See, it's saving to not Lauren. <laughs> see, now you know. Every time you see that, you'll be like, oh my god, Lauren. It's great. <laughs> Your progress was saved. Oh! Yes. I probably don't want to go hammering everyone in sight. But. Excuse me, game! Peeved. Oh yeah, we, we made I made a womp emote because I did a creative sprint stream. Well it'll pop back up, but in the meantime it could do a thing. So yeah, we could we can use the we can use the the womp is for it's my sound effect for when the timer ends for when we do creative sprints, which I'm gonna be doing more of in the future. Um so I made a womp emote during the last creative sprints because I've always wanted to have one that was good. Hello, you are a tiny little toad. What you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess, probably. 
Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money or is she your girlfriend? I have a girlfriend. It's new news, so I'm very excited about this. <laughs> yes, that's right, Dragon Imps, you were. And we'll be trying to do um, more creative sprint streams um, in the future on Mondays, maybe. We'll see. We're going to experiment with it. Okay. Verdict? This game is not the game where you play as Jack Russell. What is that? What is that game called? It's the only way you can kick everything. Oh no, this is bad news. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Don't call people freaks. That's generally not good. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. This dude and his buddies. I feel like I've seen his buddies before. But at this point, I have no idea whether the things that I recognize in this game, I recognize because I've seen this game before or because they were in another game. But she's, she's totally, I told you there were like four things I remembered. That's her. You, I don't know if you can hear me like tapping on my screen. She's in this game. <clears throat> This guy kind of makes me think of Sid from Final Fantasy IV and his design. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell me what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. He is literally threatening to kill her right away in a Nintendo game. Buh, 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 ha, ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. Yeah, it looks like Sid from Final Fantasy IV's beard. That's what I think of. I remember her because my friend that played this game thought she was attractive. And I was like, I mean, she is a Goomba, but okay. All right, so as you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. So Lord Crump and his goons are going to be probably a recurring video. They're probably recurring, recurring vil villains, 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 words. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Okay. Huff, hoof, harf, horf, huff. Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. See if the game, we need to learn quickly whether this game is gonna call us out on things like this. Blimey, a fight? Cork it, okay. I assume that this is very wincing worthy. Is that an actual slang term or did they make that up? Is Corkin real? I mean, blimey is a thing that I've heard as slang dialogue from British characters. Corkin is real? Oh man, okay. Okay, so I know that whenever anything tries to write dialogue with really obnoxious like Texan, <laughs> Texan slang, I'm like, oh my god, no. Because they never use all of y'all, which is the most useful term in all of Texan. <laughs> I assume this isn't about that. Oh, that makes sense, Chrono, actually. Corkin. Heh <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching this poor bloke have it out with his missus. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, the, the, the F in place of the TH. Such an interesting little bit of, 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 of different regional accents. It's really interesting. No, not y'all of y'all. It's all of y'all. All of A L L A. <laughs> Am I right, mate? Oh, this toad is distressed. Yikes. Looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Well, I'm about to get a rude awakening like slam jam course on combat in Paper Mario game. Don't expect me to be great at this.
like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Hmm, not likely. No, she's actually pulling a pretty, pretty safe move. If you are ever a woman in a place like this, being harassed by dudes like this, and there's a dude who shows up to be like somewhat clearly like defensive of you, taking a step behind that person, the dudes are probably not actually gonna harm the guy. Um, and putting that space there. And if you are a dude who sees a situation like this and you get involved, just standing in front, like not necessarily getting into a fight, but just like standing in front and allowing space can make a huge difference in terms of the other person's safety. So it's actually really important to fight the bystander effect as much as is safely possible for you. If you're also a very vulnerable person and the situation seems really volatile, maybe calling for help or calling on other people to help um like but but do try to do something um but uh but if you are a person who is less likely to be harmed and you see a situation that is scary like this like it can be good at very least to say stop back off um it's also it also can be helpful if you see something like this happening to pretend that you know the girl because the, sometimes if there are guys who are harassing her, they'll be like, oh, okay, and they'll leave. So if you're like, hey, Monica, there you are. I, I haven't seen you in ages. My mom was just asking you about, asking me about you. A lot of times, like, the girl will, like, pick up on what you're trying to do to save her. And sometimes she'll come up to you and try to, like, talk like she knows you. And it's all a way to kind of try to defuse a situation like this, which is very important. Um... Because a lot of times, harm is not going to happen if you step in and do something like that. So yeah, and if you're like, oh yeah, yeah, my, my sister's on their way, my, my brother's on their way, like my, my, my entire like crew, they're on their way, they're right over there. Yeah, implying a group. Things like that can defuse a situation. So obviously be mindful of your own safety, but it is important that we watch out for each other. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? I mean, Mario, yes, he can. Oh, wait. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb All right. Also, I'm sorry if I miss some of what chat says. Um, hold on. But I have a, it's a little hard to see. Oh, hey, Peter. To like see all I don't have like a huge amount to scroll back to see so my apologies if there's something you really need to make sure I see you can like repeat it when you know that I'm looking at chat um, but I'm going to do my best all right crump a bomb battle music So there's a category of, of music that I want to call kitchen sink songs where they don't have a strong melody and they just pile a lot of different things together and I don't like them. <laughs> Big Shot is a little bit kitchen sink but Big Shot does actually have a little bit more um, but World Revolving, I'm sorry, kind of had that feel to me when I was complaining about it. But this is more that than World Revolving. This is also not trying, and this is also not held up, I don't think it's the most amazing thing. Mersbo, I don't know. All right, battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Mr. Man. All right. Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Oh, okay. See how well I remember this from the previous game. I don't remember anything about. Okay, well, it's fine. The game will teach me how to play it. I have, I promise, I've actually played Paper Mario. We'll see. Jump. Oh, timing. Okay. Eek! Oh, no! 
some sort of bug happened. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I got the spinny spin spin. I stomped too hard and I broke the game. All right, well, we're going to have to be able to do combat. So let's see how this goes. Oh, no, I just got the, it's not responding. If you close the program, you might lose information. Okay, we're going to do this. All right. Oh, wow, it completely broke it. All right, let's, let's try again, shall we? Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Give me just a second, folks. Give me just a second. Hopefully this will work. Okay. Let's see if this works better. Okay. Come on. Did that work? Give me a second. Okay. Over here. You go over here. Go put the right thing, right thing, right thing, this one. No. There we go. Okay. 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 Well, hopefully that'll be a one-off fluke. But, you know, I will say, <clears throat> if it winds up being technical difficulties, this is how things roll with me a lot of times. I apologize. Okay. I, I think it updated its version. 5.0-17995. Oh, All right. Well, fortunately, we have a save. So we're going to get through this. But we have a we have a mash through talking fast. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. That's the B button. Okay. Alright, we can do this. Wow. Okay, he said to hit the hammer or to jump. We're gonna try this and find out. Okay. Okay. <sighs> We're okay. <clears throat> All right. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. To be fair, he is kind of little. Well, thank you so much for coming by. I'm glad you can make it to, to part of it. Um, good luck with your work, friend. I do know about timed hits because I played Paper Mario. I did. Hi, Master Mice. Yeah, well, we've technically been going for an hour, but you know. <laughs> you know how we roll. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. There's a way to dodge. Let's try him. Oh. Okay. I can do that. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. That's a boxing reference. Okay. Yeah, okay, excellent. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. Oh, 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 are those, do those recover my I feel like something recovers my health sometimes. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. They're like, hey, you might have played the game before this, but you might not have. So we've got you covered. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Amazing. Buh, 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 ha, ha. Okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. 
But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. We had to slip into Saturday morning cartoon voices. The morning's blowing. It's just how it goes. Oh, we're talking about Katie Washington. Excellent. I'm just delighted that we got to tell Scott Benson about our Katie Washington joke. <laughs> oh, geez. That's a lot of guys. That's... That's a lot of guys. In the name of the moon, punish him? We were just talking about Sailor Moon the other night. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is not good. I think they're beating each other up. <laughs> yes, they are. Quick this way. Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Oh. Too many guys. This is going to be significant. There's like a little sun or something, a compass, a boat. You can summon a boat, maybe. So many guys. What happens if I walk back into the guys? I can just... Okay, well, nothing happens if I walk into the guys and hammer them. So we're going to go. That's a lot of guys. They're really smart. All right. And do let me know how the audio balance is, by the way. Make sure you can hear me. Sports crowd, maybe so. But, huh? Stop! Oh my god, your goons. They're not the best at things. Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Bo? Uh, crud, they bolted. Johnson. <laughs> that's that's an interesting choice for the name. Okay, well, we're off to a good start here. You t wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Is she going to kiss him? She is. Goombella. My name is Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. Okay. She's definitely... <laughs> so, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. She is like the like sorority girl, but like brainy, isn't she? Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. She's a treasure hunter, isn't she? I mean, I guess that's why she's got the little, like, I'm going to go cave hunting for treasure that's a light a headlamp for caves mario's like oh what you're looking for the legendary treasure too seriously whoa 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 bucko what you got there is he showing her his special map he i mean i guess they're friends now oh my gosh is isn't that a treasure map you have to tell me where you got that Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Hoogly boogly is a great, that's a great phrase. Wait, wait, do you see the bouncers are beating up those guys in the background? Do you see that? Stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? And then they run away. And that guy's sad to his friend. Are you okay? His friend says, yeah, that hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. I thought that guy was dead because he was flattened, but he's not. I guess they are gangs. Okay, anyway, that was going on in the background, and since I'm reading things out loud and also I'm distracted by things that are happening, we're, we're going to get that too. <laughs> All right. Back to the main story conversation. 
Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! Oh oh, we should be talking in it. I don't Oh, hello! Bit of a coincidence! Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I said I wasn't gonna do voices. But it's Mario and the characters are ridiculous. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? I don't know if I can keep this up. Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter on a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. Sorry, I, yeah. So it's interesting, in order to establish that Mario does talk, but we don't get to hear what he says, people will repeat what he says. Like, there's like very careful and intentional dialogue writing to fill in what he's saying. <laughs> All right. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. She is pretty headstrong. I'm pretty sure she's been kidnapped. And I'm pretty sure that she's, that so, the person who kidnapped her made her send me that letter so that I would come and find the treasure. I think. Bye, Jester. See you later. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. This dude. How often has Peach disappeared or been kidnapped? Frequently. She'll be back. Oh my god, Mary Lou. <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. <laughs> Maybe they'll have to become a de democracy. Maybe so. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. All right. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP, heart points, running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> <laughs> I can see why some of you like this game. That's right, I'm looking at you. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach, did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? Sorry, she gets to be kind of Ditsy Valley girl. I feel like if you're a punster, there is no time that is inappropriate for punning. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Gallows humor. Oh, oh right, because they've got the gallows, which is really something to have right there. <sighs> the princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue. Oh my god. This girl absolutely reads tabloids oh no omega oh no <laughs> see chrono because of like chrono trigger time travel chronology amazing the only thing worse than a chrono pun is a pun about chrono Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Oh, Chrono, good. That's a good, that's a good follow-up. Well, well done, sir. Well done. Okay, I've had somebody who's redeemed stretch, stretch break. Everybody, arms over your head. Up, up. Ah, I need to stretch more than I do. Ah. Arms actually over your head. Not like here. Like as over your head here as you can. Oh, I stretch. There we go. I've cracked and popped a little bit. All right. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? She doesn't have a map, honey. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. She's been kidnapped folks she like that's like her career is 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 kidnapped princess 
Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined the party. <gasps> Tutorial? Goombella's abilities are primer. I used to say primer when I was a child. Is Goombella a grad student? Oh, that's possible. Listening. Honestly, with the original Paper Mario, most of the music was forgettable for me, and then occasionally there'd just be a song that I just lost my mind about. So I'm expecting more of that. Press X to get information about- Oh! 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 She's like- she's like Goombario. Is she related to Goombario? No. Okay. Amazing. Goombario was my favorite because he was a little gossip and you pressed a button to get lore and he was a precious little baby boy with his adorable little family and I loved him so much. Well, but they're they're both they're, they're both your gossips. That's why they they fill a similar role. I love Goombario. Goombario is my favorite. <laughs> he was my favorite. Huh. <sighs> I mean, admittedly, I don't particularly like the Oh Ho Ho girls, although she did have some funny things. Yeah. This is Rogue Point Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. But does she hint coo? I think not. <laughs> <clears throat> and of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. And then she winks. Oh my goodness. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Oh, he looks... He looks like he's a little, a little out of it. That guy's a local Goomba. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you ought to talk to him as often as possible. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. Good night, Valandor. Thanks so much for joining. Does he have multiple things to say? Okay. This is Rogue Point's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folks here, but there are also ne'er-do-wells. If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. I think probably the skulls on posts is a sign that I shouldn't go through there. I can't just hammer everything. What's with this? That's garbage. <laughs> My progress was saved. Can I read this sign? No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, hello, you. Okay, what does she say? That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. Wrong button. Professor Frankly, actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did that guy steal something important from you or what? So that's all the rogue port people uh, can think of. I'm sure this will never be relevant. Oh, hello, it's a cute little mousy. Mousy! That guy's Mouse Million. He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. 
With his nose for opportunity, he could do really well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. Salary man. Sorry. I'm having some trouble with buttons. Sniff, sniff, you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation, yes indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, hello. You are a toad. A little old lady toad? Freeze! You too! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? on it my poor contact lens I told you not to move don't your stupid ears work what were you thinking mm -mm. this is your fault now I have to buy a new contact lens but you're gonna pay for it it's a scam compensate me mr. clumsy it's a scam he says no fine if that's your plan then here's mine you oaf I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. All right. Well, fortunately, contact lenses are completely interchangeable and you don't have to worry anything about your prescription. So it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. We are going inside. Oh, look at that. The walls fall down. Okay. This is really cute. This is... Wait, no, 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 tell me about the kitchen. It's a kitchen. It's a kitchen. There's got to be something I can do in this kitchen. Mm. When I just start smashing things. Okay, look. Oh, wait, wait, I can smash the wall. I can smash the wall. Look at that. He slams his hammer into the wall. Amazing. I'm tenderizing everything oh well welcome go ahead and hang out with us i like to think we keep things pretty cozy here and this is a pretty cozy game so feel free to hang out and welcome i'm uh, i'm lauren the flute i talk a lot i'm a little silly um this is a very silly game and uh we're gonna uh have to replace the lady's contact lens that we stepped on hi serious thing don't worry you haven't missed very much I got off to a couple of slow starts. There were tangents, perhaps, on occasion. All right, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <clears throat> I have sneezed. Wow. Thank you. I just had to make sure that I didn't sneeze in your ears, because that would not be very nice. All right. Are the dudes still here? Are they going to be like, you can't go down here? This is Rogueport Harbor. Ships come here from all over the world. Everybody's always working their tails off down here. No wonder it's totally sweaty. Sometimes this area is all stacked high with cargo from all the ships. The water smells pretty rank, but that's like the magic of a port town, you know? All right. All right, Missy. Hello. Oh, I can gossip about everybody. Buckle up. <laughs> That's Pop Hatch, the Babom. He's a really salty sailor type. Totally active guy, huh? Yeah, he looks pretty burly too. Gotta love strong go getters, huh? <sighs> Goombella, honey, we might have to have a talk about your taste in men. That's the wrong button. I'm glad they don't get mad at me for hitting them with a hammer because I will absolutely hit the hammer all the time when I'm trying to hit. It's a wind up. Oh, that is a wind up key. Because they're the little bombs that you watch oh, out. Oh my god. I there's just a very strange and particular sense of humor 
that Mario games have. Okay, this is the huff hoof harf hoof. Oh, man, that's a toad sailor who works here at Rogueport Harbor. I hear he loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. Hey, in case you don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh, you, have I? No! That's a bob -omb sailor. He does basic harbor work like loading and unloading. He's kind of gruff, but he seems to have decent advice. Pretty okay guy all around. I like that she rates everybody. Sometimes on their trustworthiness, sometimes on their hotness. Okay, Goombella. Oh, this is a sad little toad. I know, Dr. McKenna. She's definitely, I mean, so what's interesting is Goombario being the gossip, like basically a 10-year-old boy being like the, the gossip of the game was hilarious. Because when you think of a gossipy character, you think of either like a Valley Girl university student or like an old lady or something like that. You don't usually think of like a small child who collects Legos. Um, so I really loved that about Goombario. Also, I just loved Goombario. <laughs> Um, Goombella, it, it fits more with her character archetype to be the gossip. But it's also really funny. Like, how do you know these people? That's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey. I always hear him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. I feel like... I feel like that slang means something different. You know, speaking of which, you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do you? Mario falls asleep instead of thinking about his brother. <laughs> That's accurate. Who, me? Well, I'm a bit down. My older brother left port just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. Oh, Yeah, I love Luigi. Unfortunately, I know. So does the internet. So, gossip. No! Goombella! Okay, hold on. That's Bomberto. A bob -omb sailor. He's small, but he's a super hard worker. He doesn't just sail either. He loads and unloads stuff too. Look at those muscles. Girl is thirsty. <laughs> wow. She really is just going to comment on the hotness of the dudes she likes. By the sound of it, something bad happened to this sailor, and now he hates the sea. Sounds so sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks out at the ocean. Is he potentially tragic and dramatic and you wonder what is going on in that, that, those angsty eyes looking out to sea? Probably. She's got multiple types, apparently. She likes big burly dudes and mysterious tragic dudes. That's okay. If these were female sailors and Chrono were the one gossiping, he would also be showing his appreciation, so. Yeah, Axel, maybe so, but he doesn't seem like he's trouble. Wrong, sorry, wrong button. Hold on. I, I accidentally did something. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. <laughs> Fair, Yuma. Oh, she probably would. Underneath his tough exterior, there's pain in his beautiful eyes. Oh, look, Goomba. Oh, the advice guy. Okay, we already talked to him. Sorry. I can't keep track of what I've already done. We're gonna keep, keep saving because we did have a glitch. Well, I don't know if that guy was a bad boy or if he's just sad and mysterious. I feel like she might be more into like Garrus from Mass Effect 2. You know, he's not a bad boy. I don't think, he mostly says tragic. He's, he's many people's space husband. <sighs> I feel like, I feel like Bioware could just make dating games and people would be happy all right let's see that guy's a bob -omb sailor i think he comes here every time his ship makes port i don't blame him this place has totally cool atmosphere i'd be a regular too boy i used to sail around and run wild in me younger days but i'm a reformed sailor now i used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought do you remember? Do you remember when I had a when I had a game that allowed me to blow things up with my face? Mm, that was fun. 
<laughs> that was Majora's mask was the bomb mask you can blow things up with your face and I was really excited about it I'm sorry Link I'm sorry I'm a bad friend I appreciate that this like actually like acknowledges that they blow things they blow up oh, right. oh my god there's a pirate over there singing a song it's a there's a there's a pirate sing okay I'm gonna ask about this guy that guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tale of every love of his life one by one. Did Goombella just jump onto the counter to listen to this? I'm pretty sure she just did. He's dot dot dotting. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. Oh, I had to try. Oh my god, so this guy's the Stash Brothers' best of friends, the Skull Captain casts his gaze, the Red Jewel shines and plays, it's a boom boss a boom festival. The Stash Brothers. I mean, that's gotta be Mario and Luigi, right? I'm sorry. Blue nails on end, four times as whack. Now, I'll, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be useful. Pretty sure this guy's song. The skull captain casts his gaze. The red jewel shines and plays. It's a boom boss a boom festival. Stash brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue stash's belly four times is whacked. Now all the fireworks boom and crack. It's a boom boss a boom festival. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that is a hint for fighting whoever the Stash Brothers are, which I would have thought would have been me, but they're not. Somebody should have made this as a sea shanty. Internet, please make this happen. That's the entrepreneur Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of ships of Flavio. What's he doing in here so early in the day, though? I think he's doing okay. The music just got quieter for me. I don't know why. Ah, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially. Oh my gosh. Is this Schlottelheim Reinbach? I think this is Schlottelheim Reinbach the third. Music is quieter indoors. Oh, okay. Who me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. Okay, so this is not his first language. What is this? Hold on. There we go. That's the innkeeper, Podley. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. Wait, 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 Podley. Like, Prince Peasley? I didn't get very far in that game, but I remember Prince Peasley. That was many years ago. Amazing. Prince Peasley was fantastic. He was so great. I thought that game was hilarious. Okay. Excellent. I'm glad to know that Podley and Peasley are the same. The same. Uh... Oh, is that Luigi's Bio Awakening, Prince Peasley? I can see that. He sparkles. Doesn't he sparkle? I'm pretty sure he sparkles. Pretty sure he's one of those, like, tosses his hair. He sparkles. He looks dramatically while his cape blows in the wind. Isn't that him? Okay. Good for Luigi. Good for Luigi, man. Pe Pe Peasley's great. He gives Luigi roses and Luigi gets bashful. I don't know if I remember that, but that was... I played that game when I was an undergrad, so it's been a long time. Oh, that's adorable! Okay, well, I'll ship them. I'll ship them. That's fine. I can ship that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Goombella just likes men i think <laughs> i wouldn't mind having a cold chocolate cola sometime and listening to him talk he opened this in a long time ago so he really knows about the townsfolk i'm pretty sure he looks distinguished always polishing those glasses welcome to you and yours have a seat this is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where folks make stories and drinks. No alcohol here. Certainly not. 
I suppose that's true. It could be. It could be that she wants his gossip. But she also just really likes men. Which, you know, more power to her. She's going to do what she's going to do. Yeah, well, the fact that there are two different Mario RPG series is really interesting to me. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Wait, is she the one making the little sounds? The weep boop, weep boop, weep boop. Yes, yes, she is. Weep boop, 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 weep boop. I'm sorry. Weep boop, weep boop, weep boop. I'm really delighted by this. Okay, what does she have to say about this old fella? That's Toadsworth, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. I'm stuck. That woman runs the inn. She's sweet and helpful, unlike most rogue porters. If your HP and FP get too low, come here to get them restored with a night of rest. This place could probably use some repairs. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm helping. I'm helpful. Look at me. Uh, let's talk to this lady. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? I'll stay. Enjoy your stay. I'm so glad I did that in Paper Mario, too. And I was also really amused. I like that your party member goes into you so that you can slide underneath the bed. I, was, I wasn't trying to destroy the place. I was hammering to fix it. Construction, not destruction. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Is there a door? Can I go through this door? I can. Oh, the music did get louder out here. All right. Do you have anything new to say here? No, she's not like, oh, you've managed to creep up here. Oh, oh. This looks like a pawn shop. Oh, 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 oh look at this. Look at this platforming. It's almost like I'm playing a platformer. Wait, 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 wait. Are there like secrets? Incredible. I'm good at faces. Hello, friend. That's McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. <laughs> I think maybe he's on the lamb from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. What's up, buddy? Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. This looks hammerable. Why is it not hammerable? You can't even tie a boat here. It's in the middle of an alleyway. You can't tell me this is for boat tying. <sighs> I probably should. Oh, wait, 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 there's an ant. There's an ant. Why is that an ant? Why is that an ant? Where's that cock? It's a roach. Oh no, roaches are not my friends. Did I ever tell you about the time that I lived in a cockroach-infested house? I can't. It's one way. It's one way, you butts. Butts, 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 butts. I can't even jump on my friend's head. Well, I lived in a cockroach-infested place for about a month and a half, and then the roommate and I moved out because it was, it was a scary, it was a bad thing. Oh, yeah, no. This, and this was like a full-on infestation like my, my roommate was like I don't think it's that bad I was like no this is that bad this is really not healthy so he moved out because he had somewhere to go and I moved into a new place um my living in Toronto saga has been an adventure um Sophie loved living with the cockroaches let me tell you <laughs> she was really sad when we when we moved to the next place and there were no roaches for her to see in the bathtub she would jump in the tub and look around because every time I would go into the bathroom 
she would she would jump into the tub and there would be roaches running around that's how many roaches were in this roach infested place it was bad i'm so impressed so many of you have never seen any roaches because i've like seen like i'd seen like a couple here and there i'd never lived among a true infestation before and i never care to again thank you <laughs> shush mario this is not the main square this is a back alley Yeah, Sophie was really excited. Fortunately, they didn't really come in my bedroom. Um, but uh, there was one time that one did, and she jumped off the bed and, and then jumped back on, looking very pleased with herself, so she ate it. Wow. Okay, well, roaches are bad news, and you don't want to encounter them. This is the bad... Oh, I guess this is... That guy's bad news. What's up here? That's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. She's really funny. She's got a lot of personality. Good night, Yuma. Yuma, well, thank you so much for coming by. It was good to see you. Definitely get some sleep. If you want to see the continued adventures, I will try to get this up on YouTube maybe tomorrow. But also no pressure. I guess so, Wooper. But I've only ever lived in cities or suburbs. There's also bed bug problems in Toronto, but fortunately I've avoided that one so far. I ha that was me knocking on wood, by the way. <clears throat> we occasionally have ants in the kitchen, even though we're on the 12th floor, and then we have to engage in war. But thus far we've been we've been we've been successful, mostly because my roommate is very good at things. My, my, my current roommate who I've been living with for a year and a half. She's very handy. She fixes things, which is good because the apartment people don't. And she, she and I engage in battle. Because I can fight more effectively against fruit flies than she can. But she can fight more su successfully against ants than I can. So we're a good team. Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? It's not going to be gambling in this game. Don't gamble, children, unless you're very sure that you can afford to lose all that money. But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. All right. You know, you they have invaded our territory. And the only thing one can do there is declare war. I am going to learn the ability to sneak through that wall like a piece of paper that is two-dimensional and can go this way. I'm guessing anyway, because that's a very clear and conspicuous thing, and they didn't have to do it that way, and they chose to. And I'm pretty sure that you can do that in this game. Or maybe in the next game. I don't know. But I think you can do that in one of them, at least. Oh, this place definitely is going to have roaches. I've lived in places that had lots of trash. Look at that, there's a roach. Gross. No, no. Oh no, Dr. McKenna, this was a scene of a crime. Oh, that's dreadful. I'm swatting flies. It should let like let you go to like the the uh, Mario Paint mini game. It's the sound it makes. Okay, well, I'm glad that they cut that out because as much as they talk about this being a tough town, like, I think it being, like, a tough town, like, from the way that it looks without actually being scary or dangerous, um, I think, uh, fits Mario's vibes better. Okay, no, this is not, this is not just the main square, honey. This is worse. Wanted. That looks like a piranha plant wearing a cowboy hat. Do not tell me, but if there is a piranha plant with a cowboy hat in this game, I'm going to lose my mind. I really, really, 
really hope that I'm reading that correctly. That would be delightful. I would be delighted. Okay, let's go to that pawn shop. Well, especially if they're going to do a bad Texas accent, then I can complain about it the same way that all the poor British people can complain about the bad British accent. That's great. For those of you who don't know me, you can't tell from my accent because somehow I wound up with my mother's Southern Ontario Canadian accent, but I lived most of my life in Texas. <laughs> Occasionally you'll hear it in, in phrases that I use. Open at 11 a.m. today. Okay, the pawn shop's not open. All right, well. Oh. Oh, graffiti corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. There was writing on the back of signs in another game. Is it Mario Galaxy or, or Mario 64 that has that? Because I swear that's been a thing. I swear that's been a thing in Mario games. And it makes me happy. Paper Mario 64 had it. Okay. Well, I did play that game, so that'd be why. Podley's best customer. Is there anything else? Oh, she doesn't have anything to say about Graffiti Corner. Well. Well. Too bad. I have something to say about Graffiti Corner. Did I go in here yet? Yes. This is the kitchen. <laughs> She's so mad. Look at her. She's like, no. That's Zesty. A super skilled toad chef. Oh. I just assumed... There's a super awesome Toad Chef in in uh, in Paper Mario too, because I remember like we hung out with her in like the big the big city that's um, right outside of the palace. Except the palace isn't always there because Bowser steals it. Tasty, zesty. They're related. They're related. Yes, and zesty. So she's spunky. Thank you. I remember Tasty. Okay, look at this. Look at me actually remembering a game I've played in the past couple of years. Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of me. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like a kitchen magician. Too bad she's mad at us. I am like a total klutz in the kitchen, so I really respect a chef's touch. Sorry, she just has a manner of speaking, so I have to do the voice. It's not like a voice voice, but you know what I mean. Why do they have skulls on the fence posts? Where have I not been? East. I haven't been east. And I think there was somewhere up there west that I haven't been. Oh, I haven't been in here. This is a shop. Is that a mustache or is your mouth hanging open? I think that's a mustache. Toad Bros Bazaar is run by a pair of Toad Brothers. This one's thrifty. They must get along really well to be able to run a shop together, you know? But then again, you and Luigi are pretty tight too, right? You guys ever fight? Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Toad Bros. Should we just bros? The Toad Bros Bazaar. This is the Super Guitar Bros, so. Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. They're twins? Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. It's mustaches. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay, so this is going to be blocked until we get to some future part of the story. But yeah, so you can tell that it's not a mouth because the mustache wiggles when they talk in a way that wiggling mustaches do. Hey there, fella. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each purchase they make. You with me so far? Save up enough shop points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain it again? No. Well, take your time and enjoy your shopping, fella. That's Plenty, the manager of the Toad Bros Bazaar. He originally opened the store with his brother Thrifty. Those two guys, I can never tell them apart, you know? They're totally identical. Here is the list. 
Mushroom, Ice Storm, Super Shroom, Thunder Rage, Shooting Star, Gold Bar, Life Shroom, Ultra Shroom, Jamming Jelly, Gold Bar times three. Okay, so like... Badges are a thing in Paper Mario. I don't remember what these are, but I assume that they're items that you can use once in combat. I assume that the gold bar you use and you get money. Fright Mask summons a scary spirit to chase some enemies away. And it's Bowser, so you put on a mask to be Bowser. I really want it. I really want it so that I can just see what that looks like. That's amazing. Sleepy Sheep temporarily puts all enemies to sleep, immobilizing them. Sleepy Sheepies. Fire Flower attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. Bowser would be pretty scared. I, I, frankly, honestly, I wouldn't be scared of Bowser because he's actually a big softie. I'm so delighted that he's being voiced by Jack Black. Like, that's so perfect. Granted, Jack Black could basically voice the entire Mario movie and I would be happy. Oh no, Sirius Inc. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess you could always mute the speedruns. Tasty Tonic. A tasty medicine cures poison and other ailments. You should not make medicine tasty because the problem is then children will want to drink it. So you have to like walk that line behind or walk that line between making it drinkable so children won't refuse to drink it. Um, but not so tasty that they want to drink it for fun. Yes, no, Jack Black's delivery for Bowser is amazing. I really I didn't like Jack Black particularly for a while because I don't like comedy. But he's amazing. He's hilarious. He's really, really good. So yeah. Oh, I need to plug in my fan on my laptop. It's probably overheating. I forgot to plan it in. Bowser's a great character. He could be scary, but I feel like if you approach Bowser in the right way and you're not a threat like Mario, I, I'm pretty sure that he would just be like, oh, okay, no, I won't mess with you. So. Too much toys tonic will poison you, but it also cures the poison. Honey syrup, a sweet snack, restores five flower power. Mushroom, a feel-good mushroom. That phrasing, I think, is not accidental. The thing about uh, Chris Pratt as Mario is that Miyamoto is so excited about it that I can't even resent it. He's so happy. I'm like, he handpicked that man. That's why that's happening. <laughs> and who am I to tell Miyamoto, no, he can't do it. You know, it's his character. It's his dream. He can live his dream if he wants. Wait, we already know that. I think there was a thing up there. Yeah, no, Bowser is an interesting, complicated character. Was there anything else I could do up here? Ah, oh, no. Okay, so I can just fall into the back alley. Oh, no! She got stuck! Oh, Goombella! I am so sorry, honey! <sighs> Quick, let's make a break for it. Okay, if once she's off screen, she'll run back behind you. Okay, excellent. All right, let us save, even though we haven't done anything because we've talked to people. And this way we don't have to re-talk to people. Okay. Oh, jeez! That guy just said, oops, pardon me, sucker. There was a shy guy who wasn't shy. He had a mean face. He's a mean guy. Oh my god, I love her. Streams generally go um, until 10 p.m. Eastern, so they're three hours long, so we've got about one hour left. And I, I, I would love to say that normally it doesn't take me an hour to get up and running, um, but sometimes I just get to talking. But I do want to not take an entire lifetime to beat games so I'm gonna try to be a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more on topic maybe once we figure things out 
Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I love her. I love her. She's so fearless and like brash and tactless at the same. Well, we'll see if she's tactless. She seems like she might be. I want to believe she's Gumbario's older cousin. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. Oh, and then Mario realizes it. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Hello. That's Goomfree the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problems just go away. Oh my god, amazing. Usually I encounter fixers in my cyberpunk settings. Hi, Renovan. How are you doing, friend? Yes, we are playing Paper Mario. We've been going at it for two hours and we've not lost, not left the first town. So I, I'd say we're right on schedule. <laughs> hey, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. Oh my god, stats homework. You I bet I bet you're actually excited about that too, Brandon. Because you like math. Mario Punk 2077. I would play that. Okay, so there's like a sunshine symbol over this door. Oh! Oh, 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 this was in Paper Mario. Fortune teller. That's Merlon. Yes! No, this is the same. This person, this character. Wasn't this character literally in Paper Mario? 64? I swear to God. This character is actually in that game. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So, so far I have not recognized anyone except for Goombella from having seen this game before. But I have correctly recognized the characters that I have actually seen in the game that I actually played a couple of years ago. That's Merlon. He's this odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here. For three shine sprites, he raises a partner one rank. Power up your partner. Talk to me from the other side of the table. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites? Be gone! Come back with more! Didn't he have a sister? I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. We go in here. He had a whole family. Oh, it's, it's, it's the professor! Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Okay, I just remember seeing some of them in the previous game. And I, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened, but I seem to recall they had they had a tower, or were connected to. Maybe they were maybe they were outside the tower, or maybe it was their tower. But there was a tower. We're lovely. That's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> was a? Who's there? Who wants me? See, like, this is wacky music, which fits, but it's not something I would choose to listen to in my free time or cover. Unlike the, like, choose your save screen song, which is amazing. Who's there who wants me? He's blind and deaf. Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Some of us are just really bad. If you, if, if I ever run into you in person, even if I've met you before, chances are it is worth telling me both your name and how I know you, and then I'll be able to place you. Not as well now because my memory is as, as is apparent here, bad. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, it's not Goombriel. Or it's not Elizagoom. 
He's thinking really hard. Aha! I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? Oh, he actually remembered. He actually remembered. I didn't think he was going to. You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? She is an archaeologist. I said so. I said so. I said people were like, because I was like, there's an Indiana Jones Goomba girl. And people were like, no, there's the Indiana Jones guy in the previous game that you must be thinking. And I was like, no, I swear to God, there's an Indiana Jones girl. I'm vindicated. I was right. I remembered. I don't remember anything else from this entire game, unless the ninja scene is from this game. But I was right, and I don't. That doesn't count as a hole in one. That's just that is my one memory from this game. <laughs> the archaeology grad student Goomba. Well, yeah, Doctor Mikano, that's who they thought I was thinking of, and I was like, no, there is a character in this game, because Professor Colorado is definitely a reference to Indiana Jones more explicitly than this, but this is what I meant. Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas! No. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. Is he now? You though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. Okay, so they can play this straight where she's actually really, really smart, but kind of a valley girl. Or she could be like exceptionally terrible or exceptionally question asking. I wouldn't know anything about being that student ever. <laughs> I've certainly never had a teacher offer to pay me to stop asking questions in class. And then I was immediately disqualified because I wanted to clarify the terms of the agreement and she said that that counted as asking questions. Which is not fair. It's not fair. And that guy behind you is... Woohoo! Who? Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one! Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. Same, professor. God, I feel really bad because people will talk about, like, things on Twitch or YouTube, and I'm like, I was born too old to know that stuff. <laughs> or slang. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you guys want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it is little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Well, most say that, but obviously you don't think so because you have dedicated your entire academic life to studying it. And academics would never study anything that is, you know impractical or unuseful useless useless unuseful i words good look archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales though it's a good line me i believe the legendary treasure truly does exist and i really want to find it good point and well made in that case i'll cooperate with you however i can First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Uh-oh. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. There was a chest that we saw in that intro scene. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. See, they rhymed yore and door because they are poets. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? <clears throat> Indeed the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. 
This is a Mario game. We will be getting stars. Spoiler. Hold the magical map a lop, a lopped, a bathop, the lop is the worth. Before the entrance to the thousand year door. Yes, we are the crystal stars. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can't, Mario will make a way. Somebody has to have done something with that. Actually, probably not, because it seems like every time I'm like, the internet must have mashed up Paper Mario's Thousand Year Door with fill in the blank. The answer has been no. Sad. Stario. <laughs> I actually think that's funny. There's, there's something in this song that makes me think of something from a different game. Then the stars will light the way that leads the stones of yes leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. If only. I can see that dragon it's actually the bomb along. But we do have it, Professor. Or well, not exactly we exactly. Mario has the magical map. You didn't miss the stream, no, we've still got some time going on. Hello Oh Limit Breakers, hi! Good to see you. How you how you doing? The Limit Breakers are a really fun VGM band. You should check them out. Let's see. Oh no. Can you imagine you're this elderly professor? You've devoted your entire life to studying the theoretical of this thing. And then some dude just shows up with the thing that you need to do the thing that you've spent your entire life studying that would be exciting and infuriating you could probably do something like M M molly from the last unicorn with like why now but no actually no because because you'll have leveled up so much as an academic that you can do the most with it whereas if it showed up when you were younger you might not be able to actually do the thing so <laughs> yes, Ghost Cassette, that is exactly what it is. One of your students drags a celebrity you've never heard of into your office with the object of your career. There's a summary. If, if this were like Paper Mario, Dr. Gnarly, I don't remember what his name is. Frank, Frankie, frankly, frankly, because it's like Franklin. I, I don't know. Frankly, I got there eventually. <laughs> Dr. Gnarly. I don't know. Hummina, hubbity, hubbida, hippity, hoobida, hamala, huffala, hoofala. Really? Check it out. I am actually reading all of the words, even the weird ones. I'm dedicated to this reading all the words thing. You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? He, like, doesn't want to get his hopes up that it's real. I am enjoying it so far. I mean, I knew I would because the previous game was so charming. It was so charming. And Goombario is my favorite, so I'm very happy about Goombella. Because she's, I swear to God, she's Goombario's older valley girl cousin. She's gotta be. In my head, she is. Unless canon tells me otherwise. Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even because he owns this thing that makes him special. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Did he join the party? Unofficially. Can I... What is 
No, but he has those, those, those are things. I want those things. There's a sun and a moon and a sheepy and a star. I don't know if that's actually a sheepy, but I want it and I can't get to it. And then he's got an Easter Island head. Okay, well, I'll just destroy my head by ramming it, ramming my skull into this instead. Oh, oh! The doctor also makes, he also makes the Goomba walk sound. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, anyway, sorry. There's a bucket. That feels like it's going to be significant. Well, but we don't... Wait, 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 wait. Something made an... Oh, there's a thing in the door. That looks potentially ominous. Let's see what it is. I have no idea what it is. And no reason to think it's ominous, but I think it's ominous. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's the doorknob. Silly me not thinking that the doorknob would be on the floor because the thing flattened down. That's really something. Okay, well, now I know. Doorknobs can be ominous. They can be. There's a doorknob in Mother 3. Also, hi, Phil. Did I say hi? I'm sorry. I was thinking about doorknob, so I might not have said hello. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Heh <laughs> We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Little old guy's got spunk. This guy's bad news. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves who call themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. That's how she knows Gus's name, because she talks to everybody. Whoa, whoa, hold up now, you're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Ro Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I want to fight him. Even though she said he's not bad. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. I don't want to beat him up. But I might have to. It'd probably be good practice for me. Oh, but I won't be able to stomp on him because he has a... He has a... This looks like this is a thing. That's a treasure chest. That's a, that's a treasure, that's a, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Eh, 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 I can open doors, I promise. Actually, I don't know if I can, oh, there's a dart board here. I wonder if Mario is good at darts. Do you think Mario would be good at darts? Treasure chest. Ah, where was it? Oh, it's over. It's all the way over here. How did it get? I suspect I will have to come back. All right. Shall we try to stomp this guy? Oh yeah, we'll get our money back. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna go beat this guy up. This is Rogue Point's east side. It is considered dangerous here, even for Rogueport. This is Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. And then again, you can also find Merlon here. He can help your partners level up. Still, it's definitely too rough a place for a girl like me to walk alone. Be a good old manly man and help me out. The east side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. That swindle. <laughs> the bandit. 
At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. Arthur, 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 Arthur. Is this Arthur? This is Arthur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. That trouble center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Trouble center? Trouble center. I'm out of the office. Please come again. Oh, we're going to make a friend in there, aren't we? It's locked from the inside. What? That's garbage. Can I... There's a key. I want to... I guess you're not the guy who stole from me. They look like shy guys. Okay, hello. You can pass. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? So it starts off on nope. We're going to say no rather than have me try to remember. Because, again, it's the, I, haven't played, I haven't played Paper Mario since... 2018. So I've lost. Oh, I think I've lost that. Hum, positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session. Goombella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee. Um, oh, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action command. Oh, I've done this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kumbella <laughs> pulls out a knife, yes. Yes, I was never any good at dodging last time. I don't think I was, anyway. I need to do better. But I remembered that it existed. And just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. It's good to know they warn you. Hammer time. Bam. All right. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? A really incredible technique. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Freeze right there, Mario. The t it's time to press B just before the enemy attack lands. What? You can counter? I hope you're prepared for me to forget about the existence of countering for the entire rest of the game. Excuse me, super guard. Har har. That concludes action commands 101 har har har. Sorry, professorial humor. I don't quite understand that. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice your action commands a bit more? Okay. Okay. Okay, no. Little late. It tells you whether you're late or early, though. That's really helpful. So this is why we're doing this. Still late. Okay. We're gonna try jumping. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Was I early? Okay, I was early. Okay, so I seem to be doing okay with this. Wait, okay. All right, we're gonna try. Oh, I missed it, that's fine. I was definitely too late. Okay, that one is easier to do. Okay. Quit. 
Okay. I think I'll be able to do that. Well, I do believe now we're all set for our quest, hmm? So down below we go. Hop up onto the pipe and tilt down to enter the pipe. <clears throat> That's Professor Frankly, head of the archaeology department at Yugu. He's researching the legendary treasure here. I totally respect him. You know the famous Professor Colorado? He was a student of Frankly's. All right, he taught Indiana Jones. So she is like the up and coming Indiana Jones. Oh, right. That's the wrong button. Ah! Oh my god. No. Oh my gosh. I want to hop onto this pipe, but I'm having some trouble. There we go. There were sewers in, in the original Paper Mario that looked a lot like this. Yes. I'm gonna get a bomb, and then I'm gonna bomb that. Oh, look at this, there's platforming. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Oh my god. There's a bunch of creeps here. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Oh no. These are like some like legitimate like creeper gross dudes would totally talk like that. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel, like, totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. Look, guys, maybe if you want to pick up chicks, try not to be creepy about it. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's go. Get him. Mario is nervous. Can't flee this fight. Okay. I really appreciate that the instrumentation, like it's it's very, very clearly like reminiscent of and like an intentional throwback to like various other Mario games. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a nice this is a nice throwback. And it's it's cute and catchy. A Goomba, a spiny Goomba, and a paragoomba walked into a bar. <laughs> I'm sorry. The whole Goomba family tree. Okay. Don't jump on that guy. Don't jump on his head. It will hurt. Yeah. He's giving us some advice on fighting. Sorry, I did not read that out loud. That's right, I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget that. Oh, that's really useful if you need to like knock somebody out of the air or something like that. Yeah, because she should go first because she can jump on this first guy and then Mario can hammer the second guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Sorry, I'm singing along with it. Haha. -ha. All right. Oh shoot, I forgot that I can dodge. I got distracted. I looked at chat. Oh, I didn't do that right because he was up in the air. Well, we're gonna practice this. Okay, we got it. Yeah, lore power is good, and actually maybe I should have her... Maybe I should have her look at everybody, because she'll have something to say about them that's not just their stats, if I remember correctly. Owie! And then they run off. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Yes! You can get a, 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 yes, first strike. It's a preemptive strike. Yes. 
can do that. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Oh my god. Watch me jump on spiky guys the whole time. I'm gonna do that. I, I, I'm sorry, but that's what I'm gonna do. Unfortunately. I would love to say that that's not what I'm gonna do. But it is absolutely what I'm gonna do. Because that's how I roll. Alright. Here we go. Journal. Tatalog. Amazing. Okay. All right. Let's, let's explore other things first before we go down. See what else we can do here. Oh, I'm going to be able to paper airplane. That's interesting. Oh, and then I'll get a treasure chest. Neat. Oh, man. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better, actually. <laughs> Because I remember in Paper Mario doing that a lot. Okay, so we get through here. <gasps> You're adorable. You're adorable. Are you gonna kick my butt? You kind of look like you might kick my butt. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Mario games are so adorable. Like they are just so cute, and then like a little bit unsettling sometimes. Listen to the funny little Goomba walk. The Goomba walk. Who needs to do the Mario when you can do the Goomba walk? Something's up there. How do I... <gasps> but there's something else up there. I want it. I want it. I'm probably going to be able to do some crazy platforming thing later. Maybe I'll get a double jump. Oh, I wonder if that's the jerk who stole from me. Let's go beat some dudes up, maybe. <gasps> oh, hello! We're down below Rugport. Folks say these are the ruins of a 1,000-year-old town. Even though these buildings are crumbling, some seem safer than those above us. The people living here mostly can't show their faces above for one reason or another. Some have actually started successful businesses here, though. What a hardy bunch. She admires, appreciates. All right, hello. That's the fortune teller, Mer Lovely. Okay, I thought I recognized her. Okay, she's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. Are you gonna have a girl? Are you gonna have a crush on her? She divines the locations of things or where we should go. People say she's always right. This is when we find out whether Goombella is into girls. And they say she's really cute under that veil. I hear some people even fall for her. Aha! Welcome, Mario. If you wish me to look for the item you seek, speak to me from across the table. I bet I have to pay for this. Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am more lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Sure. Oh, no. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that so? Well, if there's ever anything you want to find, just ask. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Goombella is a disaster by Fitz. That feels very in character. I want to know who this adorable little messenger bag person is. They're really cute. Oh my god, why are my Goombas? They're making squeaky, they're making squeaky toy feet. Squeaky toy feet Goombas! I got distracted by the squeaky toy feet and I failed. Squeak, 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 squeak. Ha! Down. Banana, na 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 na. Banana, na na na. Banana, na na na. I hear water. Oh, hello! Sorry, sorry, I clipped the microphone. I don't mean to clip the microphone. Yeah! And he wasn't even spiky. Yeah! I'm getting my timing right. I love the way everything is like it's a performance on stage. Bang! Bang! Yes! Ooh! 
Oh, you do get things that recover things. I knew you got things that recover things at the end of fight scene. Did you see we got a flower point from that? Yes. Memory get. I don't think I hit him. I tried though. Oh wait, you can't hit them because they're in the air. Look. I also failed. That's okay. This is gonna be good practice for me still. Oh right, tattling, I forgot about that. I will do that. I keep almost singing, singing like something else. He didn't give me anything. I mean, he's not a hammer bro, he's a Mario bro. There's a difference. Ooh, I bet I hit this with my hammer. No, I bet I hit you with my hammer. I accidentally summoned up a thing that I need to not summon up. Hold on, sorry. All right, do not jump. Oh, I need to actually tattle on these guys. Oh, those are big. I wonder if I can hammer them. Let's hammer the little ones. Why not? Yeah! Fire flower! Excellent. Thank you for quoting that. All right. Mmm. Ah. All this stuff. I wonder, because I seem to recall that this is a game that you'll be able to turn sideways through. I wonder if you can go through things like that. I feel like you probably can. Oh, those are big and I can hit them. I hear good things about bug fables. Oh, can I hit this? That guy looks mad. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I think that the the pow is a little too big for me. Oh, but there's a star block up there. Oh my god, Chrono is out of control. Out of control. Oh, you're all out of control. You're all out of control. Oh, that's right. I need to have Goombella gossip more. Let's see. I can't believe I'm failing at gossiping. What is wrong with me? I have a lore button. This is your basic garden variety corridor. This must have been a nice walk when the whole town was above ground. Okay, good. This seems to be more than just a corridor. You, nothing's ever what it seems down here, huh? Let's see if she'll respond to this. That's a super switch. Your jump isn't powerful enough to stomp it down. If you can power up your jump, you may be able to activate this switch. Double jump. Double jump, jump, da jump, 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 double jump. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about a double jump. I'm gonna try really hard not to jump into the water. I don't know that I will succeed. So now that I know that there's like star pieces lurking around, hidden around things, because there's definitely a way to go through there, and I bet that it's turning sideways, which I bet is an ability we're gonna get in this game. Because I remember that being in one of these games. Okay. Who knew the area under Rogueport extended so far? This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of that ancient civilization when you're down here. Did they have super advanced technology that was indistinguishable from magic? Oh, hello. Are you... Oh, that guy. Oh, I'm going to jump on top of that. I... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ah. I need to turn that off. Okay, what did she say about this? You can't break this block with your current hammer. You may need to get a more powerful hammer to break it. Ah, okay. Ha! Huh. Line up the small cursor with the center of the big cursor. Okay, I did that right. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. I love that she has to consult her textbook for this. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is three, attack is one, and defense is zero. 
Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a he -ya. All right, let us hammer it, shall we? Bam, goodbye, bad guy. Oh no, I'm never gonna get that. Just never gonna get that. Okay. Can she not do the nice thing? Bum. I was doing the regular guard, Chrono. <laughs> that I'm never gonna get. Oh, you can also get extra. Oh, I could have done extra for that if I timed it right when I jumped on its head that time too, that counts. We're gonna work on it. Okay, I'll get this eventually. Maybe. I cannot promise I will get this eventually. Bang! Wow! I got some monies. There's a key. I'm gonna want that key. But I do not have the ability to get that key. Will she say anything about this? No. Oh, this one. Can I? Can I? That's just a normal switch. Stomp on it or whack it to flip the switch. This paper is gonna come down. Maybe when I step on this. Oh, the whole thing peels. But this one doesn't peel. But it feels like it should peel. Mm. I do really appreciate that they're really making the most of this whole thing as paper. Got a key. Got a key. And I'll eventually be able to... I... Oh my god. The little squeaky toy walk. Oh my god. Squeaky toy walk. I'm really curious as to who's gonna be a paper airplane. I don't think I had a paper airplane in Paper Mario 64. I don't think I did. I don't remember. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this looks suspiciously like what I might use that key on. There's a black box in the middle of the room. You know, in case you missed it. And, um, yeah, there's just not much else, really. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend! Me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? You know, I'm pretty sure the last time we unlocked a box, well, Peach unlocked a box, it was bad news. I mean, it's going to wind up being good news eventually because we need that to do whatever it is we're going to do to save the world. But the person who had her unlock the box is probably bad news and probably thinks that they're going to do bad news things with it. So maybe this one has a title screen in it too. That's possible. That's okay. If, if, if anybody like has not followed me yet, please feel free to follow. I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to be playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on Tuesdays. And I'm going to be playing Disco Elysium on Thursdays, starting this week. Like, this week we are starting. This is a, this is a noteworthy week. Start a new relationship. Start new games. Start new projects. <laughs> it's, it's been a time. 2023 has, has been better than 2022 so far. And it's just starting. Alright, so I don't know if I believe this voice or if they're pulling my leg. Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. Because they can hear us too. Or hear it too. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just mentioned that we're looking for the crystal stars. <laughs> Good job, sir. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. 
So first, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. <laughs> the little illustration of the key that we just got. I love this. I love this very much. This is really goofy. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Mario's like, hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key, says the treasure chest. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Amazing. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. I wonder if this is gonna either be a recurring villain or if it's gonna be another companion. It'd be pretty quick to get another companion, but there's also things we can't do out there. Whoa, 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 you brought the key, yes! Oh man, I owe you big. This sounds like a kid, although they must be very old. Yes! Thank, ha, thank nothing, wee -hee! Fools! It's gonna be a villain. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? This face is amazing. Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. It does kind of look like the tent, doesn't it? From Earthbound. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Wee hee hee hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee hee. Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee 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 hee. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. This is amazing. <laughs> Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel, there's just airplane panels just hanging around, no big deal. Like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. I become the paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is you must tilt the control stick to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest. Isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes, I get it. It's terrible. I love, I'm like, oh, we're going to get like a friend that's going to help paper airplane us across. Uh-uh. Apparently not. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee. I feel like that guy could go into like Delta Rune and fit right in. Like sometimes you're like, I bet that this was played during formative years by somebody who made something else. So uh just wow. What was that guy's beef? So we don't ever see that guy. We just get the purple background and the angry face. That's amazing. I thought that might be a character, but it's not. And then we just go right back on. Okay. Well, I guess I'm a paper airplane now. Are you ready to paper airplane? Are you ready to paper airplane? We did it. Amazing. All right. Onward. I'm a paper airplane. I feel like I should sing an actual, like, vehicle section. I'm in Hyrule. There's a spring. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that. Oh, that is the door. Isn't that the door? That's the door we want. It's the thousand-year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. 
So, the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. It does really feel kind of like a, like a Zelda place, doesn't it? This is the site of the famed Thousand Year Door. The air ripples with power. Like those muscles that she was admiring earlier. Behind that door sleeps the treasure that every rogue in Rogueport whispers about. I also read that this was where the palace at the center of the ancient town was. I wonder if we're going to travel back in time to the past. And find, like, Peach's ancestor. I literally do not remember the plot of this game at all. Oh. That's what I would do if I wrote this. I do like this song. Just a little fun fact there. I'm sure that's never going to come. I'm just, I'm thinking about Illusion of Gaia. We're saving. Okay, so we're like close at 10 o'clock. Um, but I can, oh, I can move us forward some since we started late. <laughs> and hammer things. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, do you think? You probably jump on the pedestal and read the map. I jumped on it. Oh, there's stars. Oh, it made kind of the shape of a star. This is some serious fantasy. This looks kind of like Twilight Princess. Professor, what's going on? Well, now all of the traps in the tomb are active, and we're going to have to run for our lives while a giant boulder tries to smash us. Clearly. Oh, wait. The stars... The stars had personality in Paper Mario. They were people. They summoned help. I'm wondering if the stars are going to just be things in this game. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I definitely lose my voice more talking on streams like this. But it's fun. Look, it's got the, the fishy guy that keeps taking... Like, keeps damaging me down there. Oh, there's a castle. There's a palace. But you see the fishy guy in the lower right corner? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we have the butt stomp in this game. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Alexander. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to quote King's Quest VI. Because I like it. Okay, Avalon, you are correct. I should drink some water, although I think the damage to the voice is beyond drinking water. Walter White Privilege, your name is funny. I appreciate that joke. Okay, yes, everybody, check your posture, drink some water. Basic self-care is important. The location of a crystal star. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Nice. Ooh, Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Ancient technology indistinguishable from magic? Hmm, it appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Sweet treat. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. That's also possible, Ghost Cassette. It can go either way. Wait, but I wanna... I wanna go do more air paper airplanes. I guess I'll be going back down there. Ah, I see. Okay, so he is studying the map. You can see the map is actually laid out on his thing. It actually looks like it's the map. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Amazing. A special move? Yes, it... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Tutorial. 
would you like to try it out? They always give you the option. They're like, have you played this game before? And I'm like, no. He does kind of have Bernie Sanders hair, doesn't he? Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped and you probably don't want us smashing all of your books. Probably. We like moonwalk sideways to the door. Haha, <laughs> amazing blue glass. Okay, take a close look at your star power gauge. Wait, 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 wait. Did we have an audience before and I just didn't notice them? Because, like, check it out. We have a whole audience. There's, like, a bunch of toads and a Koopa Troopa with a hat, I think. Okay, I have one star. You'll see that your, your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Okay, so the theater was empty. I thought so. I feel like, I want to say I would have noticed that, but I, there are things that I overlook. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will, ah, replenish your health and flower power. I'm sorry, I'm grooving here. So is that one toad. Look at them, they're grooving down there too. Oh, our audience! Can you get more audience? Do you make them happy by being super cool? Because that looks like that's an audience 11 meter and it looks like we have... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yep, yep. Special. Sweet treat. Oh, I ran out. No? Oh, I got poisoned. Okay. Oh, you actually want to be strategic about this. Okay. I figured it out. Princess Peach was not impressed. Yes, thank you. I appreciate the Final Fantasy IX reference. Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Oh, I see. It's grayed out. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. They're cheering. Ah, if you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Metaton would be good at this. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. You can't tattle on the... Oh my god, Goombella, you just know that he would fail you. He would see to it that you were failed and expelled from the university for digging into his secrets. Oh, I got it with her! Excellent! Oh, I see. You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. I mean, you can, but then, then there'll be consequences, so. All right. Bam! Oh, oh, but there's a thing, there's like a thing in the left, or in the right, right corner. There's a thing in the right corner. Do you see? There's... The more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. Oh, look! They did come in, didn't they? As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. But there's those things up there in the upper right corner. Those weren't there before. Yeah! Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. I saw it. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels. Okay, this is too much. I can't keep track of this. Give it a try. Oh, okay, never mind. That's simple. Bingo! The audience is just losing their mind. They're like, man, these guys are so cool. You matched three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal commands to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Do you like pose? 
Does he like go like this? And then... Great Goomba's ghost, Mario, look at your audience! There's a hammer, brothers. <laughs> That's a hammer, bro. Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bum! He means to toss it at you! If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. What a butt. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. That is not... I thought I was going to be, like, dodging. I, I didn't think I was just going to run back there and hit them with my hammer. Man... You know, I've never actually had to worry about really, really rude hecklers in the audience with a band. Uh, but I, I can imagine it might be very uh, enjoyable to think about whacking them with a the hammer. Oh, amazing. Hello, 99 Brendan Allen. Welcome. I see this is your first time chatting. Welcome to the stream. We are just starting um, Paper Mario. I'm very slow. As you might see, I talk a lot. Um, but it's a cozy place to hang out, I hope. Um, I don't know if we're going to do any crying in this game. We'll see. But I think it'll be a good time and we'll have fun. Um, sweet justice. All right. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins. Don't attack them. Do not hit your fans. Good advice. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. I can't promise I can keep track of all of that, but I can try. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. Ra radar-like functions? It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Fire flowers? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Just breaks, space, time, tesseracting. He closes his book. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? There's this whole Princess Peach is somewhere we need to find her. From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? And then he shows us Princess Peach. That is her. So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Somebody's impersonating her. I bet that there's like a shapeshifter person who is pretending to be the person who was selling stuff and now they're impersonating Peach. And maybe they've got the actual Peach locked up in a cell. I'm guessing. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Metals on Petal Petal Metal 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 Petal Petal Meadows on her own. I'm good at this. I'm very good at this. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Settled off to Paddle Metals. You two go. Paddle Metals. I'm sorry, it's Paddle Metals now. That's the name of this location from here until forever. That's just how it is. <sighs> if Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. That doesn't quite make sense. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. He's like, I, yeah, I'm too old for field work. <laughs> so I'm asking my grad student to do it. Ah. 
course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay. This time I will not be scared of the door. Wait just a moment, somebody says. It's the professor. Power smash! I'm sorry. It sounds like it should be said like that. Doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's not just me, right? Right? Maybe it's just me. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. I knew it. I knew it. I remembered. I remembered badges. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Do I need to practice equipping and removing badges? I feel like that's something I ought to be able to figure out on my own. Then again, I shouldn't trust myself. In that case, first press pause to access your menu screen. Oh. No! I don't know what button I have mapped to that, actually. Something went wrong with the controller. Hold on. Give me just a second. Hold on. No, we can do something about this. Okay. There we go. I had it mapped to a button that had a hardwired thing that you can't turn off. So I fixed it. <laughs> yes, this is a very eat the berries Aloy, except that I could fix it. I could change the controls. <sighs> oh, for anyone who missed it, I, I, I got stuck in in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn because my controller was broken. <laughs> it had gotten banged up a bit. So I was not able to progress because I couldn't hit the button to eat the berries. So we heard, eat the berries, Aloy, eat the berries, Aloy, a lot. I had to cancel that stream until I could get a controller. But I did eventually. Okay, let me explain to you how to equip and remove badges. Use this to select badges. 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 Press A to access badges. Press A again and move the cursor to the badge. Badge points. One badge point. Equip. Okay. You need flower points to use the power smash move. Okay. Yes, I did. All right, we're gonna go to pedal metal. But first we're gonna equip our badge. Check it out. I did it. I did it. I successfully equipped a badge. Ha. Ha. Hua. Ha. 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 Hu. Ha. Sorry. All right. There was a thing I couldn't go to because it was closed. Two beeps. Lefty. What? I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to do something now that I can... Paper airplane. I think. And then I will shut down for the night. We'll save. Is there a paper airplane thing? <gasps> oh! Ha! <gasps> oh my gosh, this one has a little heart. This mouse loves you. That's the badge manager at the lovely house of badges. House for mouse. For a manager, she sure has gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? This shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. I'm pretty sure she probably is like a cat burglar or something. Oh my god, is this like her child? They have like... I can't tell if those are 3D glasses or a baseball cap or a visor. I think it's a visor. I think it's a visor. That's the badge clerk that works part-time here at the lovely House of Badges. 
It sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop shum, 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 shop someday. I am failing at this. It sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop someday. I got it. I got it. Shush. Oh, you're so mean making fun of the Lauren. Yeah, I think he's using this job to learn the business. Talk about motivation. She's so, like, inspired by everybody. <laughs> A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? What are you buying? What are you... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm interested in this. Video games. Video games, man. If you're looking for special deals, you'll find them on that shelf. I really like Symphony of the Night. Okay, they changed the voice acting in the re-release? I mean, I can understand why they did that, but also, why did they do that? Because my sister and her roommate were playing that when I went home over Christmas. I was like, what is this? I know they should have. They should have left the original as an option. And then they beat it and it didn't play I Am The Wind. Can you imagine? Sacrilege. Yes. I don't know. Right? No. Yes. The entire, the, the die monster scene is like mediocre instead of Phenomenal. Super appeal. Last stand P. Oh, I thought this was a truck, but it's a shoe. <laughs> Whoops. I should probably get that. Piercing blow. Finishing strike. What is, where is that? What's that from? I don't even know. Unsimplifier. Make action commands hard, but earn more star power. I love the name of this. Oh! Divine Assault! Nivalung Velesti! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chrono. I'm glad to know that my inability to read sprites will be documented for all time. Uh, truck jump. Okay, so the unsimplifier is amazing, and that really sounds like something that Toby Fox would make, doesn't it? Piercing Blow, which is a Valkyrie profile move. <laughs> <laughs> Dump truck jump. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm funny. <laughs> you shouldn't encourage me. Super appeal. I like this. A thumbs up. Last stand. P. Gosh, I want all of these. Okay, I don't want the unsimplifier yet. Oh my god. Thank you, Nick, for bringing in the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the Star Ocean. Another example of stellar voice acting. See, it's funny because stars and stellar. Do I want Power Jump? I feel like Power Jump is the one that I'm supposed to get here. I'm going to buy Power Jump. No, I don't have any money, actually. Never mind. <coughs> I thought I had more money than this. I'm so glad to know that everybody is just collectively acting out the intro sequence of Symphony of the Night. Amazing. Okay. Come again. We'll be back. She doesn't have anything else to say. Okay, well, I am hanging out back here. Amazing. All right. So I should probably save and call it a night because it is 1020. So it has now actually been properly three hours since I started the game after my like 10 minutes of stalling and rambling so that people would have a chance to show up. Okay. <clears throat> so I think this game is going to be adorable. I think I'm going to lose. Well, I, actually, I probably won't be. I probably I won't. Do voice, uh, voicing stuff that I'm recording prior to a stream where I know that I'm going to be reading things out loud like this. Um, 
so, so how are we feeling about this as a stream, folks? <laughs> we got further than Blue Glass was expecting? Oh no. I wonder what kind of tangents you thought I was gonna, I was gonna go on. <laughs> Anti-memoirs? I, I don't know that. Okay. I'm glad you folks are having fun. I am. <laughs> okay, well, if the tutorial is open now, then it, all bets are off as to whether I'm actually going to get anywhere. <laughs> okay, look, but have you heard the intro music? Did you, did you hear? Uh, uh, Brendan Allen, are you saying that there's another, there's another place that I should, uh, that I should get to pr rather than stopping here? Because if there is like a little teensy tiny little place like a little half step forward and then we're in there we can do that otherwise this feels like a good place to stop and then we'll start and embark upon a new adventure next time um because again i'm <laughs> beginning to lose my voice i'm not used to reading as much text and i did record for two hours today um so i won't do that again yeah, I'm because I'm having fun with this thing is like I'm used to like the games that I stream like being like super like emotionally like oh, I'm emotionally invested in this um, but uh, but here I don't know that that's gonna happen in this game But I think it's gonna be charming and fun and so part of why I decided to do what I'm doing with the games right now is because I know that Disco Elysium is going to be really really heavy um, and I don't want to pair, as much as I really like dark, serious, dramatic stories, um, I don't want to pair two heavy games together. So I wasn't going to do Horizon Zero Dawn at the same time as Disco Elysium. Um, but since I have the option to start both streams at the same time, I feel like it's not saccharine. Like, there's nothing saccharine about the Mario games. Like, there's, there's always enough weirdness and a little dark streak running through it every now and then. Um, to keep it from being saccharine, mostly it's the weirdness and the sense of humor. Um, but I feel like it is lighthearted and fun enough that I think we're going to kind of have a rollicking good time with it. I don't know that I'm going to be like, oh, my heart. Oh, thousand year door. No, it's possible. It could happen. I don't expect that that's what we're going to get out of this, but I think we're going to have fun. I think it's going to be neat. And we'll see if I can ever master the timing to dodge. Maybe. Maybe it will happen. Or I'll just... I think I remember the dodge. I'll forget the other thing. Um, but, uh... Yeah, we'll have fun with our new gal, Pal Goombella. Though that's fair. And she'll continue gossiping about everybody. It'll be great. Um, and, uh... And then we'll have whatever Disco Elysium wants to throw at us. And we'll see how it goes. Um, but this, this feels fun. I hope that this has been what you folks are hoping for. Um, as far as Lauren plays Paper Mario. So, like, if you have any concerns or, or questions or anything, like, let me know. Um, because we haven't played a game quite like this before. Um, but otherwise, I hope, uh, I hope you all have fun. Thank you so much, Innocence, for being here. Um, and thank you for everybody else who came out for your first, like, live YouTube stream. Um, like, or off of YouTube, for your first live Twitch stream. Welcome. I'm very glad to have you here. Um, for those of you who are wandering in looking for a cozy place to stay, we'll be doing this every Tuesday night from 7 until 10 Eastern, and it will be nice and cozy. I also do creative sprint streams where people get stuff done or just vibe, and that's pretty cozy. We'll be doing Disco Elysium on Thursday, which the game itself I think will probably not be cozy. So even if I tend to be what people seem to think is a cozy or chill streamer, that may not be a cozy space, but you know your own comfort. Um, but yeah, also feel free to come by the Discord channel or the Discord server. We have a special spoiler channel where you can jump in and talk. Um, and if it turns out that I actually like subconsciously remember what happens in the game and there is a shapeshifter impersonating Peach or something like that, there's nothing conscious about that, I promise you. <laughs> that is that is me trying to think about what I would do and what this could be. Um, but it may also be that somewhere in the deepest recesses of my brain buried under there but don't tell me if that's the case <laughs> we'll find out and if that's the case i will i will own that perhaps my subconscious remembers better than my conscious does um yeah everyone tells me how much they love this i've seen this game before but i don't remember anything except like goombella and possibly a ninja scene but i don't know for sure if the ninja scene is from this game or the sequel 
Because apparently the other thing I remembered is from the sequel. Um, I, I don't know. Um, but I find the Mario games... they I don't like Mario RPG. I know, controversial hot take. Um, but I found Paper Mario hilarious and charming. And I tend to like like the 3D Mario games. Um, I loved Galaxy 1 and 2. I love Mario 64. I love the humor that comes through in there. Um, so I'm looking forward to continuing to have a, a, a fun little romp with my pals and Mario. <laughs> huh, yeah, maybe we'll play Odyssey at some point. Because um, I haven't played that yet. And I love Galaxy. And I'm told that I would like Odyssey. Um, all right. Yeah, so yeah, I will see you folks later. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to get this up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, if you don't see it by Wednesday, give, not Wednesday, Thursday, by Thursday, give me a poke. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Take care. Good night. Bye.